Okay, so here we are in our uh, weekly golf update, and this has just completed our first Pro-Am round, playing with these lovely ladies, all good players. Each of them will want a championship here at the club. So um, anyway, so uh, first we have on the left, we have uh, Susan Anthony. So Miss Anthony, what is your favorite hole at the club? My favorite hole is hole number two, because I can drive it within 100 yards. Yahoo! There you go. Okay, so now we have Leslie Dunn. Mrs. Dunn, what's your favorite hole? favorite hole is 16 because if I had enough money, I'd buy the club and put my house right on the top of the hill. Put the club out of business? Yes. Okay, great. And then we have Diane Acroft. What is your favorite club? Favorite my, hole, my favorite hole is hole number one because there's still so much potential for the round. Okay, all great answers. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to play in our Pro-Am series, sign up in the Pro Shop. With the weather this week being so bad, we moved back the putting championship deadline for the first round to the 28th of May. So we'll be sending that out in this email. You'll see the bracket that's updated. Also, uh, Tim Mafali had a hole-in-one on number 17. Uh, the pin was back left. It was a great, great hole-in-one, so good job there. And how about Kathleen O'Halloran with a low score of 74, her career low score. That is a great number. We're here at the sign-up board, and we have some events we want to pay special attention to. First of all is our Mixed Twilight. So this is an event, it's on Thursday, May 24th. It's a 5.30 shotgun, wear your school colors. As of right now, we have 10 two-person teams signed up. We need to get those numbers up. So if you're a husband and wife team, or if you're an individual man and you know an individual woman, uh, you don't have to be married, you don't have to be a couple, just want to get men and women teams. Uh, if you're on this list, let's go ahead and pump it up and get some teams playing in our Mixed Twilight on the 24th of May. It's a 5.30 shotgun. Also coming up on uh, Saturday, June 2nd, and Sunday, June 3rd, we have a stroke play championship. Sign-ups for that are very light. We need to get that kicked up a little bit. We have a senior stable for it on there, and we just put on there uh, just today, uh, or a couple days ago, our senior two best balls of three. So anyway, we have some events coming up. The weather will get better, so let's play some golf. Over here we have our new FootJoy shorts. Uh, we have these in a khaki, a gray, a black, and a navy. We have them going for $74.95, so come on in and get a pair. We have here the new five pocket foot joy pant. It's a stretch fit. We have it in khaki, uh, navy, black. We can also order it in a gray. Do you have problems with your short game, especially your wedge from chipping in these areas like this? Before you buy something that you see on the Golf Channel, the Square Bomb, the 4XD, XGB, 3X, or one of those other clubs, I urge you to go ahead and look to another club in your bag, like the Hybrid or one of your Fairway Woods. It's a relatively easy club to get it out of this rough, rough area and get it rolling onto the green. It has a little bit of loft, but it also doesn't have that hard leaning edge that you'll stab. So go ahead and set up to it, grip down on it, just kind of like you're hitting a putter, and I want you to just go ahead and hit that kind of putt stroke. The ball will jump out of there pretty well, hit that one pretty hard, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to take it a little softer and just go ahead and putt it. You'd be surprised how easily it gets out of this area and gets rolling up on the grass uh, and not have to worry about chunking it or sculling it. Just go ahead and hit it like you would a putter and you'll get the ball rolling towards the hole a whole lot easier. Don't purchase one of those clubs without trying this first. 